It's a great pleasure to be with you uh, for the second year to present results from this research. Uh, you know, a big thank you to Sunlam for backing it uh, and for involving us in what really is an important bit of work. This is part of a global conversation that we've already heard about this morning. And it's a fundamentally important conversation that is really about how we get financial markets and our economies to deliver better social outcomes in our societies. African companies, or companies in general, and African companies specifically, are navigating a very complex ESG landscape right now, a rapidly evolving space. On one hand, as Dr. Ojwan was referring to, we've got momentum building towards policy and regulation that's pushing companies to be more sustainable in the way that they operate. On the other, we have a sort of persistent anti-ESG sentiment that hinders the ability to actually implement and take action when it comes to these kinds of policies and regulations. Despite the noise around ESG pushback and sort of the work agenda, the evidence is showing us that ESG remains alive and well. Right? It's really alive and kicking. We see on the policy and regulatory front, we've discussed that a little bit, we, we see that policy is becoming increasing. It's increasing in number. So at the moment, there's more than 2,000 pieces of policy and regulation globally that are at play that relate to ESG, integration, responsible business or disclosure. We also see that that policy and regulation is becoming increasingly intricate. So it's demanding more specific targets around things like the SDGs and taxonomical alignment. Why do these companies have an ESG strategy in place in the first place? Unsurprisingly, the most important reason is to attract investors. That's something that was common across both the markets. What was quite surprising, though, is that an almost equal number of respondents said that they have an ESG strategy in place because it's necessary for their business operations. These two things are obviously very closely linked. Companies that perform better are going to be more attractive to investors. At the same time, what the companies reported to us was that integrating ESG into the way that they operate actually improved their reputation in the market. Again, something that improves your attractiveness to investors. Okay, so we know now that companies have got ESG strategies, we understand a little bit about why they've, they've taken the time to put them in place, but what's the purpose? To what end do we have this strategy? And one of the really interesting findings for us, at least, and encouraging for me personally, is that when asked why the companies have got an ESG strategy or what the purposes of that strategy, overwhelmingly companies said it was to deliver purpose-driven impact, right? And this aligns to last year's findings where more than 40% of our respondents said that the main reason they had an ESG strategy was to deliver a positive impact. Now this goes far beyond the minimum requirement or the compliance requirements that currently exists. Another really encouraging finding is regarding additionality, where we ask companies do you aim to achieve additionality through your ESG strategy? Are you trying to add to the stock of good in the world or to your own corporate performance rather than just meeting external stakeholder expectations? The answer here, you can see in the middle row there, development additionality, the social environmental impacts that wouldn't be possible without your ESG strategy. That stands out as 95% of South African companies and 85% of Kenyan companies saying that that is a motive for their ESG strategies. Other motives are also important. Financial additionality is uh, new investment for sustainability happening that wouldn't be available otherwise without your ESG strategy. Are there enhanced governance measures are also important, particularly in Kenya, as a motive for, for ESG strategy. So this really does tell us that companies, both in South Africa and Kenya, really care about an ESG strategy that, deve that delivers development impact in their societies and in their communities. It's not just about managing internal risk. We really look forward to seeing what the, uh, the market looks like in the next survey and the one after that as we track this progress going forward.